Well, we're disappointed, but you know. A popular Sacramento ice cream parlor closed shop without warning today, shocking customers and leaving 80 people without jobs. The owners of Farrell's ice cream say they could not make ends meet, blaming minimum wage increases and a rent hike. CBS 13's Jennifer McGraw is live in Sacramento to explain what happened overnight. Jennifer? Yeah, Sam and Christina, this restaurant definitely would be packed tonight. We've seen dozens of patrons trying to have dinner, but no such luck. The lights are off, and for now, we're told this location will be closed indefinitely. The all around family fun Farrell's Ice Cream Parlor had made its way back to Sacramento following a 20 year hiatus. But after only three years, it played its final tune. This became my home over the last two years. We Grew as a family. Employees finding out the bad news Monday morning. Definitely comes as a shock due to the fact that we've been busy as stated for many, many months now, packed house. 80 employees to be exact. The owners say there are several factors, including the rise in minimum wage, and ultimately couldn't come to a rental agreement they could afford. For many employees, it wasn't just punching the clock, but instead a labor of love. We have a lot of loyal customers. A lot of people that come in here on a regular basis, they really love what we do and what we bring for them and their children, and it's going to be a shame that we can't provide that anymore. A previous Sacramento Farrell's location near Sacramento Executive Airport was the site of a tragedy in 1972. A World War II plane went off the runway and crashed into the restaurant, killing 22 people, half were children. Farrell's return to Sacramento in 2013 has played out to be brief, but patrons are hopeful. That's yeah, kind of disappointing, but you know, yeah. they'll be back and we'll, we'll, we'll find them when, we'll they, find when them. they come back. The beloved ice cream parlor once had 60 locations. Now there are only four. Owners say it's a sign of the times, but for now are holding on to a decade old slogan. We'll be back. It'll take some time to, to uh, find a location and, and, and do it right. So, but um, we will be back to Sacramento. And unfortunately, a second location closed in Southern California today as well. I did speak with the president of the company, and he tells me that his main concern is getting these employees jobs, and they will hold a seminar for them on Wednesday. All right, Jennifer, thanks very much for that live force tonight in Sacramento.